the race to be the next leader of the Ontario Liberal Party just got a whole lot more interesting. Two of the four candidates remaining are teaming up to, it seems, stop Bonnie Crombie from winning. I'm encouraging supporters, vote for us first and vote for Yash II. That's how we are going to rebuild our party. Ontario Liberal leadership hopefuls Nate Erskine-Smith and Yasser Nakfi are teaming up, asking their supporters to rank each other as the second choice on the ballot. Now, by doing this, they're hoping that one of them has enough support to derail Bonnie Crombie if she doesn't win on the first ballot. This looks like a stop the Bonnie Crombie effort, the front runner, is it? It's, it's a very competitive race that Ontario Liberal Party is going uh, through. There are four good people running, but it's a ranked ballot. The two contend this has nothing to do with blocking Crombie from winning, although Erskine Smith openly admits he's not happy by comments Crombie has made during the leadership campaign. It was the governing from the right of centre is the secret sauce. That's a very different thing. I think the Liberal Party at its best is a principled and pragmatic party that delivers serious and credible ideas to improve people's lives. And it's less about a uh, hard left and a hard right situation, but governing from the right of centre, the governments in my lifetime that have governed from the right of centre have been deeply unambitious. Crombie, who's on a leave of absence from her role as Mrs. Sagamir and who has raised more than a million dollars in this race, more than any other candidate, released a statement that reads in part, quote, I am confident that most liberals will decide for themselves who their first choice is and who their second choice is. Most liberals, she says, don't want to be told how to vote. Erskine Smith fired back. He thinks Crombie taking donations from land developers could hurt her during the next election. I'm in no way impugning her character. This is, there, there is going to be a challenge though a perception challenge in the next election that if we're going to try to take the fight to Doug Ford on the same grounds, they're going to throw it back at us, and they're already throwing it back at us. Now, the fourth person in this race is current Liberal MPP here at Queen's Park, Ted Shu. He released a statement today saying he was invited into this agreement but declined to participate. The next leader of the Ontario Liberals will be announced on December 2nd.